Today's video is dedicated to my friend Mark because his side, Kilmarnock, have just been promoted to the Scottish Premiership as of just yesterday. This is one of the two kits I have from Kilmarnock, or Killy as everybody calls them. They're from Ayrshire in the lowlands of Scotland, and they're a very fun club to follow. The other kit is from 2019 and has their all-time leading goal scorer, Chris Boyd, on the back. There's lots to love about Killy. They're one of the oldest clubs in the entire world, having been founded back in 1869. They originally were started by some cricket players who just wanted something to do during the off-season, so they picked up playing rugby. They've played association football since about the turn of the century, but those rugby roots are still there, given the name of their stadium, Rugby Park. While Scottish football is dominated by Celtic and Rangers, for a small club of Kelly's size, they've had a good amount of success in the cup competitions, having won three Scottish Cups and one League Cup, both with an iconic result that Kelly fans are very proud of with the 1929 result in the Scottish Cup against Rangers 2-0 being played out at Hampton in front of 115,000 people. And in the League Cup, they triumphed in an upset over Celtic 1-0 in 2012. While Kelly have only won one top flight title in Scotland, it is a very memorable one because in 1965, their victory over Hearts on the final day of the season clinched the title on even amount of points, but they won on the tiebreaker, which was average goals per game throughout the season. The thing is, that's not how it's done in Scotland anymore, with Hearts pushing to change it over to the more common goal difference after that. They actually lost a league title on goal difference later in the 80s and would have won the title in 65 if they had done the difference in tie-breaking just on goal difference. As you can see, their colors are vertical blue and white stripes, of which they've also worn them horizontally as hoops at times throughout their history. There are a couple cool things on their badge. A couple of the features on Killy's badge can be traced back to a local clan, Boyd, in the area where their coat of arms were the source of the squirrels, as well as the blessing symbol and the motto across the top. Visiting Kilmarnock and seeing a match is on my bucket list because I want to see Rugby Park, which their fans have nicknamed the Theatre of Pies, a play off of Old Trafford, and because they are very famed for their pies that they serve in the stadium. It's a savory pie made by their shirt sponsor, Brownings, and it's called a Kilmarnock pie. It's a little different than the pies you might find in other stadiums around England and Scotland because it's not made with mincemeat, it's made with steak. They compete in the Ayrshire Derby against their local rival, Air United, of which they have a good record over, having won 189 times out of 256 matches. Three players that you could look out for when they're playing in the top flight next season, their striker, Kyle Lafferty, as well as winger, Roy McKenzie, who's been with the club since Youth Academy, and if he hasn't retired by then, the fun old legs of Chris Burke, their winger. So that's Kilmarnock. They've just secured the title in the second division, beating Arbroath 2-1 at Rugby Park on a late, late goal. Check them out next season in the Scottish Premiership.